I'm standing here next to a Wong partnership lawyer who has become Singapore's most famous chef, Chef Willin Lau. Chef, so nice to meet you. Can you tell us where we are? We are in uh, Roketo Izakaya, my newest restaurant in Singapore, which is actually two years old. I see. And what do you have for us today? I'm going to be making a satay. Um, it's going to be a beef short rib satay. Okay, let's get to it. Okay. So this is um, beef short rib. If you look at it, it's got really nice marbling. And uh, later when we grill it, it's all going to be crisp and nice. And we have a marinade. I wish I could tell you what goes into it, but... It's a secret sauce. It's a secret. You have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Well, wow, so all these legal terms <laughs> coming up. So what we have to do is to marinate this for 48 hours. Right. And as with all good cooking shows, we have one that was made earlier. <laughs> okay. And so we just skewer the meat. So the best way to skewer meat is to sort of always twist so you can push the meat in. This is very similar to cross-examination, <laughs> I think. Grill a witness. Yes, and, and twist the knife in. <laughs> okay, so we can grill this later. But I'll show you how we make the uh, sauce for right. the satay. We have pineapple and then we have some shallots, coriander and chilli. We mix this together, mix it well. And then we will have to cling film this and refrigerate it, let the flavour soft, you know, infuse. Okay, now we'll make the peanut sauce. We start with some red onions, lemongrass, some oil. Once it's soft, running and it's uh, liquidy, we can add in more. Some garlic, the langal, dried shrimps. And then we add some uh, dried chilies that has been soaked in water. So I'm just trying to get, achieve a nice red colour. We're going to add some salt and sugar. Blend it one more time. Because this is a sauce, so you want it to be quite fine. So texture like this will be just nice. Next, we're going to fry the sauce until the oil separates from the rumpa. Here we have an eminent panel to judge the chef's cooking, the Food Court of Appeal. Judges, now may I invite you to put on your blindfolds. They're wearing blindfolds because justice is blind. And now I invite you to taste the food and give us your unbiased comments. This is really, very really good. I think it's a kind of meat. Very well marinated. It's actually a beef, a beef cube, satay style. Yes, that's right, that's the magic word. The only thing I have against it is a tad saltish. Too salty. Yes, honest from Justice Lai as always. Thank you, Justice Lai. And now, Chef Justice Steven Chong. Well, this is just like a fusion between the yakitori and satay. Uh, I like Justice Lai, I don't think it is too salty. It has the Nice uh, Indonesian sort of marinade. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, judges. And may I invite you now to take off your blindfolds. Judges, now we are going to invite Chef Willin Lau here to explain his dish. Chef, meet our food court of appeal. First of all, I, I'd like to say that 15 years ago, I left law because I didn't want to appear before judges. <laughs> And 15 years later, I'm back at where I, where I left. <laughs> Hello, judges. Um, today we have a beef short rib uh, satay marinated in the Javanese style. We added a few other secret ingredients to make it different. And then it's a spicy peanut sauce and there is a pineapple salsa because 
I love the uh, Hainanese style of uh, pork yes. satay that always has a pepper sauce that sort of breaks the, the greasiness of, of, the, of the satay. Yes. And now, Justice Stephen Chow, you're, you're very restrained, but can you tell us what you think about Chef William Lau's cooking? Well, I, I have been a big fan of uh, William's cooking for a long time. In addition, I'm also a big fan of both satay and yakitori. Oh. So this is the best of both worlds. Oh. And I think it's really, really good. So I would highly, highly recommend mm. that you take out your wallet and bid yeah. high for this uh, special dining, unique dining experience. Thank you, judges.